Welcome back boys. In this video we're going to show you how to adjust the distributor to hopefully get better performance and more reliability on your Astro or Safari or, or any vehicle with a 4.3 liter Vortec V6. Now I have owned this thing for about five years and I've had to do a distributor cap and rotor at least once a year. This has been the most unreliable vehicle I've ever owned and it's entirely the ignition system. Basically what will happen is at a certain point you might feel a little bit of missing on the highway, just maybe it'll throw a code, maybe not. But at some point you're going to go start your van and it's not going to start. And the reason for that is a few things. First off, you can have corrosion inside your distributor. What you want to do is drill out the screens in the bottom of your distributor to try to get more airflow. The other thing that you could have, which this van might have, is a coolant leak right near the distributor. So there's a lot of humidity near the distributor, which causes the corrosion. However, I want to show you something. Now, before we get started, you're going to want to verify that your distributor is in good shape. This is a pretty much brand new distributor. I have about 5,000 miles on it. If you want to see a video on how to replace your distributor with a higher quality billet unit, please click up here. That was my first attempt to try to solve this ignition issue. But I want to just show you what a good distributor looks like. That's all the play I have. It's really not much. So if there's not a lot of play, that tells me that the distributor gear is fine. However, what I want to show you is this on the distributor cap. When you look at all the contacts, instead of the rotor firing where it's closest to that center, it's firing off to the side. I don't know if you can see that little bit of white dot on every single contact, but it's always pitched this direction. Unlike the Vortec V8s, the distributor on the 4.3 V6 is not adjustable. It can only go in one way. There's, there's no way to tweak it. I've watched a lot of videos on distributor rotor phasing and doing all this stuff with math and it just seemed really complicated. All I want to do in this video is make this distributor adjustable and then we're going to drill a hole in my old cap and visually look with our eyeballs to see what's going on in there, adjust the distributor, tighten it down. Now why am I doing this? My hypothesis is that your van won't start not only because of the corrosion, but because the spark needs to jump a fairly large distance instead of the shortest distance possible. So in theory, what I'm going to try and do is twist the distributor a little bit, verify that the spark is happening when it should be happening, and then we're going to tighten it down. that will be a shorter distance. It'll deliver higher voltage to the spark plugs. And hopefully even with a little corrosion, because that distance is so much shorter, it'll just be more reliable for a longer period of time. All right, to start, we're just going to go ahead and remove the distributor hold down clamp. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys how to replace this, and we're actually not even going to take the distributor out. What we're going to do is modify this hold down so that we can move the distributor around a little bit. Now, again, we have not removed or rotated the distributor. All we have done is taken off this clamp. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to use a grinder and we're going to slot this hole this direction. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this old distributor cap and we're going to cut a hole in it so we can see what the hell's going on. Now we want the biggest hole possible. It looks like that's going to be near the pickup for cylinder number five. So we're going to try to remove all this plastic so we can see what's happening in here as the engine's running. Now we have a modified distributor cap and a modified distributor hold down. Let's go install them and then we're going to start the engine while looking in here and tweak this thing. Like 
All right, let's do a before and after. So here's the distributor in the stock position, which cannot be adjusted. And you can see how long that spark is getting. It's getting crazy long. Now that I've clocked the distributor, do you see how that spark is staying nice and short throughout the rev range? Now that shorter gap is gonna deliver greater spark energy, probably gonna get a little power increase, maybe a little gas mileage. But the big thing is that without, when it's not jumping like half an inch, that corrosion shouldn't be as big of a deal and it should be a lot more reliable. Test drive with the doghouse off, and I'm gonna spur the GoPro down there at different speeds and just make sure that spark is not getting really long like it used to. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this cap with the hole in it, and we're gonna put a fresh cap on here and tighten her down. And hopefully, I don't need to look at this thing until I do a V8 swap. All right, so hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I will put out a follow-up video to see if this solves my problem. I'm gonna do a couple more things before we go on a road trip here. I'm gonna seal the bottom edge of the distributor with dielectric grease to prevent water from running down the side of the cap and coming inside. And we're also gonna put some dielectric grease on all the contacts inside and just wipe off right where the spark is gonna happen. Hopefully that will prevent the corrosion from starting on those posts and then wrapping around and causing ignition issues. You guys saw that video, that spark was like, this long and now it's like nothing and it's just from clocking that distributor you can do all the math and start marking your flywheel and get out your timing light and do all this other crazy stuff but to me this was the most straightforward and i think it's going to work if you learned anything in this video please leave a like and a comment appreciate it till next time dudes see ya Stop, stop, stop. What are you doing?